the newest sightseeing spot. Asakusa Yokocho. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. Today, we are going to Asakusa Yokocho. It's a sightseeing spot that was born in July 2022. I will show you classic Japanese foods and unique foods, so stay tuned. Now, let's get started. Here we are in Asakusa Station. Our destination is about 10 minutes away from Asakusa Station. We introduced the most popular hotel in Asakusa in one of our videos, and it's not far from there. There's a link on the description below, so please check that one out too. Here we are! This is where Asakusa Yokocho is at, Tokyo Rakutenchi Asakusa Building. It's on the fourth floor of this building. Wow! It's newly opened, so there are so many balloons for celebration. Well, let's go to the fourth floor. This is where we'll introduce today, Asakusa Yokocho. Look at the neons! So cool! It's like a festival! I'm getting excited! There's a photogenic spot too! So many foreign wind chimes! So fancy! In Asakusa Yokocho, there are 8 stores assembled on this one floor. Seven of them are restaurants, but one is a store where you can rent kimono. You can enjoy Japan more if you put a kimono on. Alright, let's go to the first restaurant. The first restaurant we'll introduce today is Yura Yura, a yakitori specialty restaurant. You can enjoy freshly grilled yakitori at the fancy counter seats. You can also enjoy the view of Tokyo Skytree from that window. Okay, let's order yakitori. You read the QR code with your smartphone to make an order. Our beers are here. The glasses are so lovely! This is Black Label Beer, which is a kind with not much bitterness and has a nice smell. Cheers! Yakitori is here! We ordered an assortment of six kinds of yakitori. The sauce smells awesome! Let's start with these two yakitori. This is chicken liver. It has a little bitterness but is also moist and goes with the drinks. This is pork rib. It has fat and it melts. This is called sunagimo and it's the stomach of a chicken. It has a crunchy texture. This is negima. It's a combination of chicken breast and green onion. It's a classic yakitori. This is seseri. It's the neck part of chicken. It has fat and has a crunchy texture. This is tebasaki, chicken wing. The outside is grilled crispy. The meat is juicy and the juice is flowing out. Okay, let's go to the next restaurant. The second one we came is Rocky Kanai. This is a lively izakaya where you can enjoy many kinds of drinks. At this restaurant, 
You can make your own eggs, tamagoyaki. So let's order that. Our drinks came. One is melon flavored drink topped with an ice cream, and the other one is a drink with chili pepper. Cheers! In this melon drink, there's an ice cream and a cherry on top. It looks so cute, but it's alcohol, so be careful not to drink too much. Junjiro's drink is called Kingyo, which means goldfish in Japanese, because the chili peppers look like goldfish. It is a little spicy. Here comes otoshi, a small appetizer. Otoshi of this restaurant is chicken kebab. The spicy sauce smells so good. The freshly grilled meat is so juicy. It has a spicy flavor and makes us drink more. The ingredients for tamagoyaki are here. You can cook the egg with dashi by yourself. Time for cooking. You put the egg with dashi into the frying pan, about one third of it. When the egg starts to set, roll it with chopsticks, and then pour more egg. As the egg sets, roll it again. Now put the rest of the egg, roll it, and ta-da! It's dashi maki tamago. Dashi smells great. It was a little difficult, but it's fun to do it by yourself. The egg is fluffy and soft. The mild sweetness of dashi is so good. Let's go to the next restaurant then. The third restaurant we visited is Unagi Specialty Restaurant Izumo. They have many kinds of eel dishes, but we chose these two today. While we wait for the eel to be grilled, let's have otoshi. Otoshi here is kani miso tofu, crab miso tofu. I've seen many kinds of tofu, but never seen one with a crab miso flavor. It has a crab-like flavor, delicious. The spicy flavor of wasabi adds a good accent to it. Ah, the eel is here. This eel is cut in round slices and grilled with salt on. By cutting it in round slices, the fat stays and the eel gets more juicy. Let's eat it with salt. The outside is crispy. It has so much fat. The meat is so tender, it melts. The next meal is here. This is una sando, rice between eels. There are two huge eels. They're larger than the rice. How luxurious! The rice seasoned with sweet sauce matches with the eels so well. And the seaweed flavor makes it taste like sushi. All right. Let's go to the next restaurant. The last one we'll introduce today is a sushi specialty restaurant, Asakusa Sushi. It's a popular restaurant where you can taste sushi that goes with drinks. They have table seats that look like a boat, but we chose the counter seats. Before we eat sushi, we order drinks. They pour Japanese sake from this server so that the freshness of sake is kept. The kind of Japanese sake varies daily, 
And today's sake is Roman. It's from Fukushima Prefecture. It has a gorgeous scent. The flavor is kind of sweet and it's easy to drink. I can recommend this to Japanese sake beginners. Otoshi is here. This restaurant's otoshi is pickled okra. It's pickled in soy sauce and dashi. The crispy texture is great. It also has a flavor of bonito flakes. Sushi we ordered is here. This is seaweed rolled sushi topped with tuna, Japanese yam, salmon roll, and flying fish roll. You take this film off before you eat. There's plenty of salmon roll. It's irresistible. The tuna and salmon roll has soy sauce on, so you don't have to add anything. The Japanese yam is creamy and yummy. The plump texture of flying fish roll adds a good accent. It is both fancy and delicious. How great is that? It was so much fun in Asakusa Yokocho. We got to enjoy many kinds of restaurant at once. You should visit here when you come to Japan. If there's any restaurant you'd like us to introduce, let us know in the comments. Please give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye bye.